So, as Monty Python would say, now for something entirely different. <laughs> because <sighs> it's not a podcast episode if we don't talk about Zack Snyder. Um, I'll be honest, though. This is a Zack Snyder project that I think is more in the wheelhouse of Zack Snyder that I actually like. Which is the subgenre that is zombie movies. Because I actually really like his, um, oh, what was it? His remake of Georgia E. Romero's uh, Dawn of the Dead. I like his Dawn of the Dead remake. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I felt like this is going back to the well for him um, with his Army of the Dead movie that's coming to Netflix. So this, to me, we just got our trailer for it last week. This felt like his, okay, the weight of Justice League is off my shoulders. I could do something fun and for me. And I'm not going to lie, I like this trailer. So the basic premise of Army of the Dead and kind of what we get from the trailer is the world has been overrun by zombies. So a whole bunch of mercenaries go, hey, there's no one guarding Vegas right now, right? Let's just steal a crap ton of money from Vegas because there's no one there to guard it. So it's mercenaries versus zombies trying to get a bunch of money. And I'm going, I don't hate this. Josh? Hi, uh, Yes. Teacher, teacher Nathan, I have a question. Question. Te- I have a question. What good does money do during a zombie apocalypse? Crap. Just ask it. Um, uh, ask it for a friend. Have you asked Snyder this? Cause <laughs> I, I hadn't even thought about this, but you just like Swiss cheese, like poked holes in that entire <laughs> logic. Like... There's clearly some people out there, so there's some form so? of currency, I guess. No! We haven't gone full Mad Max with it, but you're right. Why are they getting money in a zombie apocalypse? Why does what? it matter? Why does it matter? Like, I, th- I was like, and that was, that was, this is, you're experiencing my feeling that I had during the show, watching it. I was like, oh, I can get down with this. This is the Zack Snyder I like. This looks cool. Dave Batista's here. All right. Why are they getting money during a zombie apocalypse? You don't need money during a zombie apocalypse. What is, what is the point of this movie? I don't understand. What's This trailer made me think and reminded me a lot of... I'm trying to remember what that video game is called. Was it Left for Dead? I don't think. What's yeah. the one where you can... Uh, duct tape chainsaws to the side of your motorcycle and you drive around oh, the mall. Oh, Dead Rising? It felt dead like rising. a Dead Rising movie. And I yes. don't complain about that at all. Yeah. This, I don't, I often say the Zack Snyder movies don't feel fun. Like, he yes. wants to, like, sit and contemplate big life messages in veiled as superhero movies. This feels like stupid zombie fun. And now, I often think the zombie trope is tired and overdone, but sometimes you can really make it work. I still really like Zombieland Double Tap. I actually think I might prefer it over the original. This could be a lot of fun. And there's a pretty decent cast in this now that they replaced Chris D'Elia, which is a whole other side yeah. tangent that we won't get into. <laughs> Again, Zack Snyder just cannot get away from controversy, but that that's completely not on him. He didn't even know that one, but they did the right thing and recast. I'm curious to see, as you brought up Batista, I'm curious to see what um, what kind of Batista we get out of this, because he's tried different things. He's done Drax, he's done completely different Drax in the later sequels, where he just becomes an absolute moron. Then he did stuff like My Spy, which I don't hate, um, but then you've got him in Bond, and he's the best thing about that terrible Bond movie. Mm-hmm. What kind of performance can Snyder get out of Batista for this type of movie, which is definitely different than a Guardians of the Galaxy? I I think I could have fun with this. I appreciate yeah. that it's a Netflix movie. I don't think I would go out and see it in theaters, but then again, no. this doesn't feel like a theater movie. This kind of gives me the same vibe, at least in terms of I'd rather watch this at home as uh, Chris Hemsworth's Extraction. Like, it feels like a I probably would see this at home type of thing. So yeah. consider me at least intrigued in this era that we don't have a lot of movies readily available to us, except we're slowly but surely getting some new stuff. Godzilla vs. Kong comes out this month. Heck yes. Um, I, I'm looking for at least some new content, which is weird coming from Snyder, I'll admit. Oh, yeah. Uh, also, last thing about this trailer that I noticed, outside of the currency thing, um, the white guy that's in the trailer, 
Tell me he doesn't look like a zombie ver- uh, zombie apocalypse version of Fred from Scooby Doo. <laughs> Tell me that he doesn't. Zack Snyder's next project is not Justice League Two. It is a reboot of Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo, starring Matthew Lillard. I mean, that's non negotiable. One of the yeah. biggest mistakes Sorry. of Scoob was replacing him with somebody that was awful. Actually, there's a lot of mistakes with Scoob. I hate that movie so much. That was just <laughs> I was going to say, that's the sole mistake? Really? Wow. No, okay. There's much bigger right. mistakes. Like the fact that they don't live in Coolsville for some reason. Like, that's like... It's like taking the Flash out of Central City or Superman out of Metropolis. You just, you know it where they live. It's yeah, just not like... right. As a whole, I'm often critical of Zack Snyder, but I... And one that I really do try and give credit where credit's due. This looks more like the Zack Snyder that I like. Um, yes. Zombies, up his alley. Action has always been up his alley. Morally questionable characters, also always up his alley. Consider me at least intrigued. We don't know if the movie will be good or not, but consider me intrigued. 